so today I am going to talk about a G parity so since we know that that for strong interaction interaction both isospin and C parity conserved right so for height hadrons for hadrons we define a new operator called G and this is known as G parity and it is defined as it is defined as that G is combination of charge conjugation it's a combination of charge conjugation with 180 degree a rotation of rotation about second axis rotation about second axis of isospin space that is I2 right because for isospin space has the three vectors I1, I2 and I3 so it is the rotation about this axis right in mathematical form it can be written as in mathematically we can write down mathematically we can write down write down as we can write down as the G parity is equal to C into exponential of iota pi i2 and this G is a multiplicative quantum number as parity it's like a parity right also for strong interaction for strong interactions the G is invariant G is invariant that means it commutes with the Hamiltonian of strong interaction it commute with the Hamiltonian of strong interaction but for weak and electromagnetic interactions magnetic interactions G is not invariant G is not invariant so what does it mean it means that its commutator with the weak Hamiltonian with the Hamiltonian of weak interaction do not commute and commutator of G with the Hamiltonian of electromagnetic interaction it also do not commute that's the meaning of it that G is not invariant for weak and electromagnetic interactions so let us now compare let us now let us now compare the effect of charge conjugation and 
put G parity on pi ohms. This is just to compare. So G parity on pi ohms, right? So that means under charge conjugation, under charge conjugation, and here under parity invariance means under parity operation and here i will talk about under parity operation sorry not parity but g parity operation under g parity operation right so let me write down it here that pi plus minus cat of pi plus minus under c gives us pi minus plus also pi naught will not change it will remain as it is but under g parity operation what happens to pi plus minus under g it will become minus pi plus minus and this pi naught this will become under g it is pi naught with the negative sign so what does this suggest this suggests that the g parity of pi on is minus 1 that is g parity of pi on is minus 1 so this is a brief introduction to what introduction to to g parity and g parity means invariant for the strong interaction that's what we have concluded out of this lecture so that's all for this lecture thanks for watching this video